Okay, so here's a walkthrough on Pete's computer repair. Let's just think of what we got here. So we've got an invoice, and right now um, this worksheet is uh, protected, and only these fields here are unlocked, so we can just get through these spaces. What we want to do is collect the information from the fields here on this form and add them as a new row here on the invoice list uh, on the invoice list page. So to do that, um, I'm going to walk through it very slowly and carefully and narrate as I go so you can get a feel for what I'm after. I'm going to start out here with the cursor on this page. and I'm just going to put in some sample data here. You could use your, um, um, well, that's, that's way too much. Let's do $123 in parts. Okay. Now, what I want to do is copy each of these rows over to the invoice list. And I'm going to start out in this cell. So I'm going to come over here to the Developer tab and um, uh, click on record macro here and it will say what do you want to name this thing and I'm going to say um, invoice uh, I'm just going to name this invoice one I forget what the name is in the workbook and I'm going to set this up uh, with the OK button and now I'm in recording mode the first thing I have to do is click on the tab where I'm going to be doing my work to make sure that I'm on that tab um, and not someplace else. So then I'm going to click in B3 up here, this date field. The important thing about this is this is sort of my anchor cell. When the macro runs, it won't know how many rows there are in here. So we've got to just start out at some place we know where it will be, and that's B3 where this date field is. I'm going to come up here on the toolbar, and I'm going to turn on relative uh, macro. Let me expand this a little bit so you can see use relative references. I know that's outside the field of the video. Let me bring this back in. Okay, so here I am in uh, this cell. I'm going to press the end key and then press the down arrow key and that will take me to the last row of the table. I want my input to be in the row underneath so I'm going to press the down arrow key uh, one time here. While I'm recording the macro, I tend to use just the arrow keys and the tab key to get around on the keyboard. Now I want the invoice date equals invoice date. I press the tab key to fill that in. Tab once more to go to the next field. Then I want equals customer name. Tab, tab, that's the trip, the, all those A's I typed up there. Item repaired equals item repaired tab, tab, equals labor charge, tab, tab, equals parts charge arrow down to get that tab tab equals invoice total arrow down to get that tab tab equals payment type type that in tab and now I'm just going to use the arrow key to go back now I've got the fields copied over from the invoice tab but the problem is all of these are just references to uh, the fields over there I need to freeze these values so I'm going to get my cursor back in the date column hold down the shift key copy uh, this section here control C to copy it I get my marching ants then I'm going to right click here and select paste value and that will replace the references with the actual value click back in here press the escape key to make the marching ants go away and now you can see in my cells I have um, uh, the actual values not the references anymore I'm going to come up here and turn off relative references. Now I'm almost done recording the macro. I click on invoice just to get myself back to where the user wants to be and I stop recording. Now uh, this is in pretty good shape. I'm going to try running the macro right now except that now I'm going to put all B's in this field. This is just test data. It doesn't matter really what it is. I can select any item here doesn't matter. Now I'm going to run my macro. Um, I named it invoice one. I'm going to run it. And poof, when I come back here to invoice list, now my B's are here. If I come back here and type in all C's and uh, run the macro again, uh, now my C's will be here. Okay, so this is working. It's putting them where I want them to be in it. Last step I have to do is put the finish button in. So to do that, uh, I can't put a button on this form right now. The insert is grayed out because this worksheet is protected. So I'm coming over to review, unprotect the worksheet, come back to developer, um, insert, choose the button here. 
name it, uh, I'm going to tie it to that macro. And then I'll just change the wording in the macro to finish, uh, or the in the button to finish. Done with that, I will come back up here and protect the sheet. Um, that's okay. Now I'll type all D's in here and click the finish button and then go back look over here and now there's the D's. So that's how it works. Send me emails and with your worksheet if you're experiencing problems.